Hello. Hello. Been here once before. Nice to meet you? you. Good. How are you? Pleasure to meet you, sir. Welcome to MCC. Thank you. Breaking the Awesome. That's in Tulsa Cupola, which is one of the, the windows we have. And that's a picture of Washington, D.C. You can see the mall down the middle, and you can see the outline of the lights of, of the District of Columbia. Hi, Scott and Tim. This is Ellen. And as you know, we have uh, some very special guests here today in Mission Control. So I would like to hand it over to President Bush. Well, thank you, Ellen. And, uh... It's really great to be able to talk to the president today. Nice talking to you. How is it up there? Well, sir, it's uh, it's great. It's a uh, real privilege to be part of this uh, space station, the space station program. It's an amazing, uh, amazing place, and we're fortunate to be able to do this uh, great work here in space. Working some on some experiments. Yes, sir. We have about uh, 400 different experiments that are going on uh, during the course of the year that I'm here. And those are generally in three different categories. Those are those that are kind of, you know, looking away from Earth, those exploration-based experiments, you know, how we can uh, live and work in space for longer periods of time, both, you know, on a, on a physical level, but also how we develop the systems that are required. Like, uh, you know, for instance, yesterday, Tim and I fixed our carbon dioxide removal system. And, uh, you know, that's something we're going to need to uh, go to Mars today. The other type of experiments are the ones that improve or look to improve life on Earth, the things like, uh, you know, in some cases, pharmaceutical-type research that we've done uh, with, uh, you know, certain organizations or, you know, the basic science stuff. We have... Uh, a combustion rack uh, that does combustion science that we're working on today. So a lot of experiments are, you know, more looking towards the Earth and how to improve life on Earth. And then there's the international experiments that kind of, you know, uh, combine both of those different uh, categories. Great. Your noted shutter bug. Tell me about the picture. Yes, sir. Well, we have a, a great view up here, and it's a... Uh, you know, it's a beautiful planet, and, um, you know, every time I think I've seen uh, everything Earth has to offer, I am just surprised one more time, and it's, uh, it's just great to be able to share that, those uh, images with the, the, the people of Earth. I know they enjoy them. I actually take a lot of pictures of the science experiments, too, but uh, a lot of people enjoy those, but, but more people more enjoy the uh, pretty pictures, so I try to to take those a lot, and and as do my uh, my fellow crewmates. So, yeah, we take a take a lot of pictures of Earth because it's so beautiful. We can't help it. Hey Scott, so you know, over the last year, you've been uh, growing some plants in space. We saw a picture of a flower. You know, there was the lettuce you grew. Why don't you tell uh, President Bush a little bit about uh, some of the crops you've had on board? Yes, sir. So we've had. Uh, plant growth experiments up here. We actually do them in the Columbus, uh, the European uh, science module is where they're located right now. And they have a, it's, it's a kind of interesting uh, facility. The lighting that it uses is pink. So when the lights are out, it's uh, generally got a pink glow in there. And it's, uh, in the beginning of the flight, we grew some lettuce with the uh, idea to better understand how we can grow crops in space because when we get to Mars, we're probably not going to be able to take all of our food with us. So, you know, understanding how you can grow crops and then eat them. And we actually ate the lettuce in, uh, in this kind of environment is pretty important. And uh, right now I'm growing some flowering uh, plants, some zinnias, that uh, I think we've learned a lot about uh, doing this um, kind of experiment and just, you know, being you know, for lack of a better word, a farmer in space. In the beginning, there was a lot of interaction with the ground, and that didn't work out very well. And the flowers, uh, I was either overwatering them or underwatering them because I was following the direction of the ground, and they they were practically dead. And I actually got a lot of a uh, lot of heat for it from folks on the ground when they saw my pictures of my flowers. So I was extra motivated to bring them back to life, and I put a lot of effort into it, and I did. And they're. Uh, they're now doing great, and on Valentine's Day, I'm going to uh, harvest them, so we'll be, we'll be done with the flowers, but I figured Valentine's Day would be a good day to 
cut them down and uh, we'll freeze them and take a look at them when they get back down on, on, on Earth. How long are we be up there? Yes, sir. So I've, uh, I launched on March uh, 28th, and I will be back on March 2nd. So there, even though I'm not counting the days, I'm trying to avoid counting the days. I do know that I have uh, 26 days to go, which is about 8%, which to me still seems like a long time. But um, yeah, we, I've been up here a long time. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the guy next to you, and maybe Tim could... Um, I think it's important to point out that the space station that you guys are on is, uh, you know, started essentially with Space Station Freedom. That that was, um, you know, something that President Bush uh, started in the 1980s, and then Space Station Freedom eventually became the International Space Station uh, that you're aboard today. So maybe Tim could uh, tell President Bush a little bit about what the, um, you, you know, the entirety of the space station I know you can't give us a tour, but you could talk a little bit more about it. Yeah, and I'll, I'll let him do that in a second. But President Bush, I figured since you're you're a Navy guy too, like me, we would just ignore the Army guy. <laughs> it's an honor to talk to you today, President Bush. We have a tremendously uh, elaborate station here. We're inside the the Japanese lab right now. Behind us is a storage facility. Across from us is. Uh, a, a European lab, a connecting block, and then this continues on down with several more segments. And we have, you know, probably the equivalent of about a 2,000 square foot home in which we, we live and work every day. And then outside of the space station is a huge structure that uh, has uh, solar rays that provide energy and lots of electronics on board. Hey, Scott, if you can, after being in months or uh, in space for 11 months, what's the thing you're most looking forward to when you get back? You know, it's obviously, you know, it's 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 friends, family, you know, human contact, even though we like, you know, our fellow crew members, it's not a pretty, it's not a large variety of people. So that's uh, one thing I really look forward to. But then just being outside, I mean, this, uh, this space station is amazing. It's an incredible facility, but it's all inside and we never leave and the, the lighting and the you know, environmental conditions are always the same. There's no sun on your face, no rain, no wind. So I really look forward to being out in a, you know, in a large open space out in, uh, you know, in nature, for lack of a, a better way to describe it. Oh, thanks. Thanks. The good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Well, have a great uh, rest of your mission, and uh, Tim, enjoy the rest of your time on, on Space Station. I am uh, very envious of both of you guys. Well, yeah, it's great talking to you. And, Mr. President, thank you, uh, thank you so much for coming to the Control Center. And uh, we really, really appreciate all your support that you've given uh, to the space program. Although this isn't the Space Station Freedom, if it wasn't for the Space Station Freedom, this amazing space station would not exist, I believe. So, uh, you know, this space station and our space program is part of your legacy as the President of the United States. Thank you, Scott and Tim, today. Uh, I just want to say I appreciate the hard work you put in every single day up there, and you're wonderful ambassadors for NASA and for our country. We'll talk to you later. Thank you, Alan. Have a great weekend, everyone. Yeah, everybody ready? Hang on, let me get a couple of these. Looking good. One or two more. One last one, here we go. Here we got it. Awesome. Very good. Right. Thank you. Thank you.